Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, my name is Bear. Unfortunately, my save file, uh, didn't save from the last time for the first episode of the series, so I guess we're gonna have to go ahead and go with my, uh, save file number one, which is basically the same one. We've beaten Mom one time on this one, and we've got about the similar amount of stats, four deaths, you know, a couple of other runs here and there, a couple of other items unlocked, but other than that, it's basically the same. So hopefully this one will save properly, and we should be able to continue on as normal. But for now, let's go ahead and start off with the new run we've got. Now, uh, the choices of Magdalene, Kane, uh, Judas is still locked, unfortunately. Eve is available. Samson, we need to beat two levels without taking damage, which I'm sure we'll be able to do at some point if we get a little bit OP. Uh, Zazel is still locked here. Lazarus is unlocked now. Which, uh, could be tempting to go with a new character here, Lazarus. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and roll with Lazarus. That sounds like a fun time. We're gonna be randoming everybody all, uh, eventually, but, uh, for now, it's good to just be able to check out the new characters and see what's going on. So it looks like Lazarus has, uh, pretty standard stats to start with, although we have that times one up in the top left corner, which indicates to me that maybe we have an extra life. There's also a pill in our inventory. We get a health up right away, so that's pretty awesome. Must be just, like, a random pill that Lazarus starts with, so that's pretty nice to have that little benefit early on. Don't know if he has any disadvantages to make up for the fact that we just started off with a pretty sweet perk. Uh, well, like a, the fact that I'm terrible, maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll outweigh that, outweigh that health up in, uh, what I perceive to be an extra life. We have a very new item to me here. I've never seen this before. Let's see what this is. Toxic splash damage. Ooh, wow. Wonder if that'll hurt me. Looks like I'm probably immune to it, considering I am the source of it, so that's good. <laughs> That would be kind of shitty if I ended up dealing damage to you. I suppose it would be pr probably pretty similar to something like Epicac. It's just a, a minor risk you have to run and utilizing an item like that. This looks pretty awesome. Toxic splash damage. I imagine that's going to be uh, pretty damn effective for certain bosses. Uh, things like Monstro, maybe I'll be able to keep on raining down damage. Or maybe even Guppy actually be a be a good one to to utilize that toxic splash damage on. Should be a pretty solid upgrade. I'm stoked about this one. Stoked out of my mind. That's not that's not just a word the surfers use, right? People say stoked. I say stoked all the time. I probably say stoked an unhealthy amount. I I'm a stoked holic, let's be honest. Alright, pretty small floor here, not getting too much else out of this. I'm gonna finish off these flies. I might uh might take a chance on finding the secret room. I've been hearing tell that the secret room layouts have changed a little bit for Rebirth as compared to uh, Vanilla Isaac. I I hear that uh, most secret rooms must be accessible by three sides, meaning they're completely enclosed. That might not be true, especially considering it doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility here. Oh, no, wait, yes it is. Okay, so... Yeah, that could entirely be the case, which would be interesting. It would, it would certainly, uh, certainly help to narrow down a lot of the possible locations of the secret room, but I don't know if I necessarily even... Uh, like that. I don't know. I don't know if like as a as an Isaac player I, I I want it to be as easy as that. Ooh, gluttony. Okay, here we go. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of a lot of dad damage. I'm still trying to <laughs> I'm still trying to make that thing apparently. This is working pretty well though. I feel like the uh the toxic splash damage has actually helped me out a little bit with the gluttony fight. It's kind of interesting that he's in his own little area in the center here though. That is uh totally not helpful to me at all. I'd very much like to get that health too, but oh well. I might test the theory here to see whether or not the, uh, the secret room is- oh my god, I really don't want to die in these first floors here. See whether or not the secret room is actually exactly where I would expect it to be if that- if that rule were, in fact, accurate. I suppose we'll have to take a quick gander at that. I don't want to die! Oh my god. Well, I guess I could also test the theory of whether or not Lazarus has an extra life. Alright, so there it is. It was indeed, uh, surrounded by all the other rooms. Could be the case. Could actually be the case here. I, I suppose, suppose I'll learn to live with it. You know, <laughs> just <laughs> given the fact that that is indeed going to be how it happens, I, I should probably try to take advantage. That's, I believe, my first secret room I've found in Isaac as well. So, quite interesting. So I've got down to half a heart now, and I'm going to see whether or not I die and end up resurrecting in some way, shape, or form. Larry Jr. I should be able to kill without too much trouble, but. I should say that about just about every enemy that I've fought up to this point, and I've kind of failed miserably at doing so. Uh, let's see. As long as I can just not get hit real fast here. Come on, buddy. Just help me out. Just go somewhere I can 
All right, there we go. That's good. So people have been telling me now that the belt has actually changed a little bit too. So the belt has a speed up and I guess a slight damage upgrade. Although I don't see it, uh, it's not in the description of the item, but I, I, I'll trust you. I'll grab the belt this time and I will, I will move forward under the assumption that it is providing me a lot more help than I initially suspected. Basement 2, there's an arcade right there. I only have 13 cents. I'm going to go ahead and pass up on that. This is kind of a dangerous room here as long as I don't make any dumb decisions. I should be okay. There's a lot of, a lot of doo-doo. My damage is pretty solid right now. I mean, like, I think the belt did help a little bit. Can you still see the... You can still see the damage, right? Yeah, so the charts are still here. The charts are still here, here on the screen. That's good. I'm just curious about whether or not the, uh... The belt really made a significant impact in that in that domain. No keys yet, unfortunately. Not gonna be able to get into this item room at this particular moment, unless I can get really lucky with one of these poops here, but I seriously doubt it. Might as well give it a shot. Might try to kill that fly as well. Really would like to find some of these newer items, man. I'm stoked on the, uh, God, I really am a stoked haul. It's terrible. I'm really excited about the, uh, the toxic splash damage. That's pretty awesome, but getting some of these cool new synergies, I I'd really like to try those out as well. Getting some of these new, uh, items that provide me really sweet perks. Really, uh, really cool new effects. That'd be awesome, too. I wonder if I'm immune to, like, the, the toxicity of other enemies now that I've acquired this. Bombs are key. Alright, well, that actually gives me the, uh, the key I need to get in the item room, so I suppose I'm okay with that pill. Oh, uh, there's another key there, though. Okay, well, that would... Well, I mean, that would basically be exactly what happens anyway. I would have bombed here and then gotten the key, and that would have been the exact same trade-off. Oh, well. Alright, let's check it out. Bob's Rotten Head. Oh, I don't have a spacebar item, so I imagine I might as well use that. Let's go for the curse room as well. Take a chance on this. Troll bomb, no good. And, uh, alright. Blue flies, I'm okay with that. A little bit of damage there. I'm gonna try to use, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use Bob's Rotten Head to get this pill, so let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. I should probably use it again to grab that key if I can. I can see forever. Ooh. That's a new pill, that's very interesting. I think that pill is, uh, taking a permanent effect here, too. Maybe that's just gonna unlock all the paths to secret doors from this point on. Or to secret rooms, rather. Interesting. Well, it's gonna seal that one off. Maybe it'll open up as soon as I clear out all these enemies. Damn, that's a good pill if that's the case. I don't know if it's like for only this floor. Yeah, it opens it back up now. Wow, that is fantastic. I think that would have saved me from uh, taking the damage from the curse room as well if I had had it earlier. Of course, I wouldn't have. I couldn't have possibly known that I would have been able to have that advantage. But damn, this is good. I, I, my, my only, uh, the only point of reticence I have is whether or not it will deactivate once we're out of this floor. I also really want to charge Bob's Rotten Head again so I can be able to, uh, unlock some of these, uh, other items available on the floor, protected by barriers of rock. Barriers. Har, har, har. Oh, uh, is there a trap room? Is there a trap room that I passed up on? I think maybe up this way. There's an arcade. I could go... You know what? I've got a bit of money. I should probably go try out the arcade. Oh, man. This is interesting. This is an interesting arcade. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give this guy some stuff. And uh, I doubt I'm going to be going for more money from the... From the blood banks. There's a key. That's good. I could actually go use the key right now to try out the shop. In fact, I should probably go do that real quick. Check the shop, see if we have, like, uh, if we have a greed fight, I'm actually not opposed to that, because that would mean I'd be able to get another key if I could get a boss room charge. Uh, we have the blue fly. I can actually spend five cents, get that battery charge for my Bob's Rotten Head, and then go use it on the Tinted Rock and get a bomb as well. But, I could also get the blue fly. I don't know if the blue fly is really worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this strategy. I'm probably gonna damage myself doing this. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Actually, I'm not even going to get a, uh, shoot, I'm not even going to get a bomb out of that. Hmm. Well, I could get my key back. My key might be a better option, although I could get a key out of the Tinted Rock, too. I'm worried that I'm going to be, I'm worried that I'm going to be taking a gamble on trying to, like, angle my shot of Bob's Rotten Head to fly up like that, as opposed to just shooting it right where I'm obviously going to take damage from it. I think I bet, I'm better off taking the chance. So let's go like this. Alright, so I got a lucky rock in the basement. That's awesome. I didn't take the damage either, so that's good. 
I got a spirit heart out of it, which isn't great. But I'm I'm glad I took the risk of throwing Bob's Rotten Head at the angle as opposed to just taking the damage outright. Let's go play the beggar a little bit more. Let's see if we can get any more value out of this guy. Because I'm obviously not getting the 15 cent item over there. Tarot card is the high priestess. Okay, that's pretty solid. And another bomb. Okay, that's good. Nice, we're getting a lot of payouts out of this guy now. Very good, very good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's keep going on him. Two bombs, nice. Very good, very good. Thank you very much, beggar. Ooh, this is working out real well. I got another heart from him. I might actually... Oh, yeah, if we keep getting hearts from this guy, I might actually play uh, Demon Beggar as well. Another... Ooh, a golden key. Ah, oh, that would have been really nice. Oh, well. I mean, I might as well pick it up, but... Hmm. Another key. Damn. Okay, good. All right, you know what? I am going to do this. I'm going to do this at least a few times. Let's go with maybe... Okay, three might do it. Bombs, bottle, pills. Okay, that's... That's going to give us something here. Balls of steel. Nice. All right, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to drop that off again. I'll use a bomb to blow this up. Maybe get a few more cents. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Probably not going to give this guy any keys. Let's go with this again. Another half heart, which is okay. And uh, probably give him all of my money here. Black bean. All right. That's, that's pretty good. I'm probably going to keep the rest of my bombs here. I wonder if giving this guy the golden key would do anything. I'm tempted to try it. I'm just going to try it to see if I... All right. Well, I learned that lesson now. Good. I learned about giving the key beggar golden keys. That's that's useful information. I should probably use a bomb to get a key here. I think the bomb is more worthwhile than the key. Or no, sorry. Vice versa on that. I think the, the key is more worthwhile to me than the bomb in the long run. All right. Dingle time. I have my high priestess card. I don't think I necessarily need to use it. I think my toxic splash damage is actually going to do some... Significant effect here. Let's see how uh, how good it really is. I'm learning about Dingle's tells as well. I, I didn't realize how clearly he uh, how clearly he displayed his intentions beforehand. So there's the there's the, oh god and see there's there's one that I probably should have been ready for. He does the uh, he does the little whistle thing obviously right before he spawns another little Dingle and then he'll shoot right after he does that as well. When he scrunches up his face like that, that usually means he's either going to... Oh god, that was terrible. But that, that means he's either going to shoot or he's going to do the dash attack. I think the dash attack has a slightly different tell, actually. Let's see if I can tell the difference. Yeah, so it looks like that face means he's going to do his uh, range shot. And then the dash attack is probably something a little bit different. He's going to do a shot after that. A couple little dingles. Okay, that that is dingle taken down. Got full health from this. And we'll see what kind of item we get. Ooh, I've never seen that before, either. HP tears up and shot speed down. Wow. Blue cap. That's pretty awesome. That is solid. All right. I'm pretty much done with this floor. Let's go ahead and head back on down. Still got my high priestess card in tow. We are ready for action. Decent amount of health as well. I'm feeling good. Feeling pretty solid, man. I think we'd use a few more, uh, few more items. Again, I'm really looking for cool item synergy. I, I, I can't wait until I get... Some of the new stuff that just creates absolutely ridiculous tears. That would be, that would be fantastic. My my fire rate is pretty solid at the moment. I could use a range upgrade. A range upgrade would be really nice. But I I do still feel in general pretty good about about the way this run is looking. Flying obviously would be cool too. There's a lot of things that prevent you from accessing them until you can fly in in uh, in rebirth, which is kind of sad. I could use Bob's Rotten Head to try to get across this, but I don't think it's necessarily worth it. We'll try to see if I can use it uh, elsewhere to a uh, higher degree of effect. It's funny that I'm using Bob's Rotten Head more for like a utility item than I am for like an offensive item. Although I don't think that's entirely uh, entirely uncommon. I suspect a lot of folks use Bob's Rotten Head in that fashion. Another heart, no big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and head over this way. See what else we can find. Not gonna go to the shop just yet. We only have one cent, so obviously re wouldn't really be that much value in that. I'm starting to think that the uh, the pill that allows me vision of the secret rooms is only for a uh, single floor, unless we're getting really unlucky with my uh, with my proximity to the secret rooms up to this point on this on this floor here. So I suppose we'll find out as soon as we keep moving forward. Not seeing it anywhere around here. 
I'm pretty sure it was just for one floor, which is fine. I mean, it's still pretty damn good. For a single pill, that's that's awesome. I like that a lot. Alright, there goes that guy. Jeez. Oh, bad, bad damage again. Oh, my god. Terrible. We have two locked doors here. I have another key. I haven't found the item room yet. I'm guessing my toxic effect is probably going to help take these guys down as well, though it shouldn't be too difficult anyway. Pretty simple floor there. I've got a lot of red hearts on the map, but the spirit hearts are still in tow, so I'm reluctant to use the, uh, the curse room just yet. Still haven't found a much better use for Bob's rotten head. Still taking plenty of damage as well. A couple more bombs. Let's go. Let's see what we get. I think I've seen this before. Conjoined friend Gemini. Oh, nice! Oh, I'm Gemini now. Nice! Oh, man! I haven't seen that before. I wonder what Gemini does for me. I don't think I've ever seen... I've been watching a couple of people play Rebirth, of course, so I've seen a few more things now, but... I don't think I've ever seen Gemini, uh, the Gemini effect, so... Ooh, the Gemini effect, that sounds like a movie starring Ashton Kutcher, doesn't it? Mega Man is back again! Lazarus to fight Mega Man time. Alright, let's see if maybe I can... Oh, he just stands on the enemy. That's interesting. Right, go get him, buddy. Okay, that's kinda cool. He's just like a... Just like a still damage effect. He just goes for it. That is nice. That's dealing a significant amount of damage. I should stand even closer so I can get my uh, my panic farts going on this guy too. I gotta get. I always gotta get my panic farts going, man. All right. Well, there goes all my spirit hearts. Let's we'll see what kind of benefit I get. Oh man, Gemini is pretty solid. Ooh, deal with the devil as well. HP and luck up from the scab. Damn. Those are really solid. I'm definitely going to take the Mark. I'm going to take the Pact as well. I'm going to pass on... I believe that's Ghost Baby. Oh, you know what, man? I wish I... wish we would have gone to the Curse Room first, but... Eh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Alright, I could still try to use Bob's Rotten Head the same way I used it the last time. Let's try this. Ah, I missed it. Okay. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. Missed out on a bomb. Alright, we're good. Moving forward. Passed in the curse room there. I didn't want to give up a full spirit heart for the potential of getting another spirit heart <laughs> in the curse room. Okay. This is looking pretty damn good here. I'm pretty... I'm pretty excited about this run's future. Health is a touch low. Oh, that guy blew up. I didn't realize that. I, I gotta pay better attention to that. I'm not even, I'm not even realizing that the... Uh, the black enemies are, are no longer just champion enemies, they're actually, uh, explosive. So I, gotta, I gotta keep that in mind as we're moving forward here. I love Gemini, man. Gemini feels awesome. It's a very good, uh, a very good familiar. It basically is a familiar, right? I mean, like, I call it a familiar. The devil card, Revel in the Power of Darkness. I'll keep the High Priestess, I feel like that's pretty solid. Um, let's go here. There we go, nice. And Gemini, I imagine, isn't able to actually hit these guys unless they're up, which would make sense. There we go. It doesn't even actually attempt to hit them until they raise their heads. Kind of neat. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. More and more dad damage being taken, but... I'm able to get my health back the majority of the time. Still have a couple keys, so we will be able to go into this item room as well. That is uh, the virus. All right, that's not terrible, I guess. We got a very poisonous run going on right now. Very poison-centric item pool, which I suppose I am not entirely opposed to. I could use Bob's rotten head here for one of these, and I have a few more bombs, so I might as well give it a shot. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh god, we can't use Bob's rotten head to make a bridge. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Know that now. Learning stuff. Learning stuff that I will promptly forget, I'm sure. I need a little bit of a range up, man. And range is not so great at the moment. But I'm sure we'll make do. Didn't want to let this guy... Oh, that was terrible damage as well. Didn't want to let that guy turn into a fire hopper, but... Ended up paying for it anyway. Uh, you know what? Okay, let's go ahead and bomb this, because we get a free bomb anyway, and then we get the chest as well. It works out for me. Plus, I, took, I uh, took a gamble on seeing whether or not the secret room was going to be in there, which I should have known that it wouldn't be. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's on the room below considering what we know about the secret rooms now, though it could be right below us here as well. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble on it being right there. 
Not really sure how I took damage from that, but oh well. There's the explosive guy again. We've got our bombs back. Our health is dropping. We have really good damage, though, as a thing right now, by way of taking the mark, to, mark in the pact. Pretty solid damage upgrades. Another tarot card here. I could use the Bob's Rotten Head to clear this out to try to see what that is, and it's probably worthwhile. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm really glad that uh, Gemini doesn't stand in my way of doing so. I could use the Hangman down there to get the... Uh, what, a, what in the world was it down here? I think it was a, it was a chest, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so there was a chest in this area down this way. Uh, was it over here? I think it was over here, yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and use the tarot card for this. Uh, matchstick. Tastes like burning, okay. Don't even have a trinket yet, so I suppose it's worth taking. Go grab my High Priestess card again. I'm probably going to pass on the shop for now. I think that's the shop. I saw another locked door like that on our previous floor. I'm not exactly 100% sure what that means. I'm imagining the libraries are making a return, but I don't know if that in particular was a library. I'm way too fast. I'm so fast, I'm not able to keep tabs on my on my movement at the moment, man. Those belts! Belts are too much for me! Can't handle it. I got a lot of health, luckily, so if I if I drop down too much, I can go pick up red hearts anywhere I can find them. There's also the, uh, the curse room I've yet to find in this area, so I could probably go check that out, too. And one last little fly. Yeah, damage is really solid. There's our boss fight. I'm gonna pass on that for the time being. Let's go get another half heart here and see if we can find our curse room. I'm not sure I've found it around here yet. There's another half heart right there. Still have that times one next to my life as well, which I'm still confused about. There's our curse room. Probably gonna let Gemini try to kill the majority of these guys. Here we go. Damn, Gemini is solid, man. I'm loving it. Alright, and troll bomb. Oh boy, yep, there's our spirit heart. Alright, so we got a net gain of half a spirit heart going through there. I guess that's worthwhile. Let's go down here. I can't go in this room still. I wonder if I just unlocked it. Nope. You have to be at full health to be able to do that, right? That is the case. Also, I don't, I don't think it's even that it has to be surrounded by rooms on all three sides. I think it's even beyond that, you have to be able to access the secret room on all three sides, so... It's curious. I'm still not sold on that theory, but could be the case. Versus Mega Fatty! Let's go ahead and just High Priestess this guy. Get ourselves off to a good start. Oh, right, don't want to let him eat me. Oh, God, wow, okay. Let's, uh, Bob's rotten head here. And completely miss. Oh, shit, that was terrible. Woo! Not even letting Gemini help that much, but, I mean, we're dealing a lot of damage as is, so not a big deal there. Uh, we got ourselves cho or, uh, tooth toothpicks, chopsticks, <laughs> tears and speed up. Was that a speed up? I think that might have been a speed up. I think I saw a speed up there. Pretty solid fight there. I'm still feeling really solid about this. I, I like the, uh, I like the damage output. I like our, our Gemini friend. Bob's Rotten Head is not bad. Certainly not that great. I'd pass up on it for a lot of other space bar items if I came across them, or especially the new ones that I haven't played with yet. Alright, down we go. Still not enough money to justify the shop. Especially with only one key. Definitely want to hold on to that for another item room if I can. Gift box full of poo! My favorite pastime. This seems worth it. Especially if troll bombs are all we find in here. That's entirely useful. Got some pennies in a bomb. I guess that ended up okay. Ended up okay in the grand scheme of things. I wonder if getting things like a range up may actually improve the distance Gemini is able to go without, you know, like, disconnecting itself from you. That would be kind of neat. You could improve Gemini's usability. He's already pretty strong. I guess we don't necessarily need to be able to make him stronger than he is, but... You know, just... Just speculating. Just theorizing. Oh boy, this is interesting. This is real interesting. I mean, I'd like to go over there. We'll charge up Bob's Rotten Head to get through there without wasting a bomb. How about that? Should probably clear out this red fire real fast. Damage to fire rate's really good. Sadly, it's not very helpful against these guys, but... Just in general, I feel like we should be okay for... The majority of fights moving forward. We got a nice supply of bombs here as well. That feels good. This should be an easy enough room. Still looking for the item room. We've got one key left. Definitely want to use it there. I 
I don't want to go for this. Let's use Bob's Rotten Head to see what's inside of it. And then we'll see whether or not it's worth the bomb to get over there. Uh, so let's go like that. Never mind. <laughs> Tell you what, I wonder if this still works. If we can go clear out, clear out this room, then go back in that room and see if the bomb is stronger. I, I, I would wager a guess, I would hedge a bet that that is a glitch that they fixed. Uh, I don't know if that was necessarily meant to be the way things work. But I'll see if what I'll see if the uh, the bomb bomb ends up taking a stronger effect by way of doing that. Still, Let's see if I can get another key here as well. Nice, there we go. So we want to head back in here real quick. Obviously, gonna go to the item shop as well, or the item room rather. Oh no, I missed out on a lot of things because I oh I did the bomb improperly. They're kind of forcing themselves my way. Oh, that was really unfortunate. I don't know why I did it that way. Oh well. Not a huge deal. Lost out on a spirit heart and a bomb. Didn't necessarily need that. I do feel like I'll be okay health-wise. Just gotta play relatively well. My toxic shot's actually taking effect regardless of whether or not I hit him in the back, too, so that's cool. I'm pretty sure it's it. I'm pretty sure it's doing that. Alright, off to the item room we go. Let's see what we get. Two keys still. That's good. Ooh, technology. Technology, too. I'll take it. Still getting a few of my toxic shots, and now I just have a constant laser shot as well. Damage-wise, I think it's still going to be pretty good. See how effective it is. I guess I'm going to take that. Not a lot of risk involved. Got another Bob's Rotten Head charge ready to go. I don't know, maybe my damage is kind of suffering a little bit here. Jim and I, of course, have still helped me out quite a bit. We'll have to see on like a boss fight whether or not it's overall negatively impacting me. I could take this pill, I think is probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and grab this. Bad guess, alright, no big deal. Worth a go. If I can find an arcade or something, I would definitely want to try it out again as well. Let's just go uh, for the for the fast approach here, try to get Gemini on these guys. Still quite a few bombs, I uh, don't know if I really want to look for the secret room at all here. Ooh, this is an interesting floor. Whoa. Holy crap, yeah, the uh, laser itself really doesn't do that much for me, unfortunately, but... Still good to... I think it's still good to take. Let's see. There's probably stuff on the far end of that. But that might just be a wall over there. This is an interesting room. Very interesting room. Let's just have Gemini kill that guy good. Take out the fires, and I uh, might just go for the boss fight here. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Monstro 2, okay. I really like the new boss art, man. I really think it's solid. Alright, I should be able to kill him pretty fast. Especially if I stay at a close range, I think, uh... Oh god, wow, I'm taking a lot of damage, though. I'm being real dumb. I'm gonna go for a bomb. Oh, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. Uh, the red flies are what's killing me here. I'm letting those guys hit me. It's kind of difficult to see everything going on right now. Let Jim and I do the work. Oh, I should have been prepared for that, damn it. Wow, I died. There's my resurrection, I have one heart. I died to Monstro 2, man. That's bad. I got a health up at least, but... Oh, okay. Well, there's my extra life. I see now how Lazarus works with the extra life feature. That was... Ugh. That was a rough fight. I definitely should have been more aware of what was going on. Let's go ahead and try for some secret rooms here just to see if I get extremely, uh, extremely lucky. There's our first one. A couple of keys. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and bomb up this way as well. Just get myself faster access to this room. Alright, not, not a huge deal here. Really hoping I stay clear of projectile fire. I'm being so bad. Ugh. So bad. So very, very bad. Okay. We're going to survive, man. We're going to make it through. I'm going to keep searching this floor. Really wish I could get that spirit heart now. That'd be nice. Flying would be helpful as well. Ooh, blue fires. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Gemini, can you get over there, bud? Can you go help us out? In this realm? Alright, not so bad, I guess. Not sure what the blue fire does. I feel like it's just gonna... Just gonna hang out there. Okay. Oh, there's a Wrath fight. I haven't actually fought Wrath yet, so... This will be a nice new experience. And it's, uh, it's over. <laughs> Basically done with. Alright. Not, not a problem there. We got a few more bombs. Reusable Bomb Buddy and Mr. Boom. 
I suppose with how I'm using Bob's Rotten Head, I might as well use Mr. Boom because that kind of gives me the exact same utility. And it's even it's a bit more controllable as well. I'm going to go ahead and just bomb that rock, actually. Avoid the spikes. Careful with that. Alright, stay in the middle. This is weird that they have this barrier here. Okay, I guess I'm going to go for the, uh, for the curse room now. Um, real? This has been uneventful. I guess I'm going to go for it. Oh, you're supposed to... Okay, I didn't even realize you could go between the fires. Telepills to take me back out to make me spend even more hearts to get the things I want. That sucks. Range up. Alright, maybe it ends up being worth it. Let's find out. I think I can go heal up a, a little bit. Pretty sure there's red hearts around that I can use. Let's see. Uh, yep, there's another half. And I think there was a full red heart maybe around the other area somewhere. Did I go check this out already? Oh, there's a full red heart here as well. Nice. Alright. Uh, full health. Relatively speaking. We're heading down. Not a huge deal. Let's move forward. I think we're in the depths too next, if I recall correctly. Maybe not. Maybe just the depths. Oh no, we are in depths too. Okay, cool. Let's see what's inside. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Tantalizing me. Oh, we need two keys for this area, don't we? Interesting. So we spend two keys to get inside of this room. There's our stars card, which we could use to save a key here as well. Telepills are available. Uh, what am I dropping here? Well, there's the stars. I might as well try to use the stars and then maybe come back here and get the telepills. And we get, uh, Brother Bobby. Alright. Not a huge deal. Got a pretty interesting loadout here now, man. I'm down with it. Just gotta avoid silly damage. It isn't... It's becoming increasingly difficult to see the enemy projectiles with the amount of stuff I've got going on on the screen, so... That's an unfortunate trade-off to, to the amount of crap that I've gotten thus far in the run. But I, I still think we should be able to make this work. My range upgrade is going to be helpful as well with the toxic shots. Hopefully that uh, makes a significant enough impact to be worthwhile. There's our bomb here. I'm going to go for the long room real fast. This is... Uh, ooh, goodness. really like having technology for these guys here too. Oh god, bad damage, bad damage. No more spirit heart, unfortunately. Let's see here, let's see. I've seen before, too, that if you blow up some of these skulls, that they actually turn into the, uh, the skull enemies, so... Kinda wanna try to avoid that as much as possible, I guess. Alright, vampire bats. These guys will charge at me if I'm not careful about my proximity to them. And we're gonna go back in here, grab this telepill, and I'm gonna just go ahead and use that now, just to see what happens. Oh, nice! We ended up getting in here regardless of the, uh, game wanting me to do so. We get Sad Onion. Which I'm not sure if I necessarily wanted this. The tears up, it doesn't appear to be that significant. Loki is back and he's just as adorable as ever, of course. Didn't blow that up in time, unfortunately. I don't know if the tears up was really warranted. I, I feel like I would have been better off maybe going for, uh, or trying to just get out of this room. Although I think the door might have been locked. Ah, uh, that was a uh, bad bomb, buddy. That's that's unfortunate. I'm, I'm gonna try to use some bombs here, but that was equally ineffective. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, God, yeah, I can't really... Can't really control my bombs very well. I think I got him with that one. Hmm. Maybe this one as well. I think right before he got up, that one went off, so... That's good. Oh, God, I might die here. This is dangerous. Monster 2 has been the death of me, man. I was hoping to try to use Gemini pretty effectively here, too, but that's not working out very well. Alright, I should be able to survive. There he goes. I mean, I've got one more fight, I think, before we can get out of this room. Oh, no, we got it. Okay, good. Oh, man. I think there was maybe a red heart inside of this room, so let's go check that out real fast. There is a red heart. Okay, good. Man. Dangerous, dangerous game we're playing right now. Hopefully we can survive through to the, uh, to the mom fight, at least. Very much like to do that. There's full health again. Hmm. Still have uh, quite a few bombs. I should probably try for the try for the secret rooms if I can. In fact, let's uh, let's go for it right here. I think we might have a solid chance of finding it. No. Okay. Unfortunate. Ooh, another red heart. Don't need it this time. Maybe over this way. That's probably worth it. 
I can use Bomb Buddy for this too, so... Save ourselves our, our actual bomb. Oh, alright, well, in the end of the day, at the end of the day, that was definitely worthwhile. This is definitely providing me an opportunity to go to the shop as well, if I can find one. Are the shops still in depths too? I don't remember. I don't remember. I suppose we'll find out. One way or another. Another key, nice. Ooh, hello there. Whoa, he was like, invisible. Holy shit, that was weird. Ooh, we got a chub fight. I haven't seen chub yet, this is fun. Welcome back, buddy. Good to see you again. Totally missed that bomb. Don't worry about it. Gemini is taking your ass down, isn't he? What do we get? Another key. Okay, so we definitely want to go try to find the shop here. Or, if it doesn't exist on this floor, try to at least explore the rest of it. Uh, this looks like the shop. Okay. Uh, we got a compass, which is totally not even worth it at the moment. Let's grab this pill for the health up. Nice. We can get a spirit heart as well. And that'll do. Okay. Good. Very good. That's a good, uh, good result. Um, oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. I was not paying enough attention here. Come on now, bud. Come on now. Get him, Lazarus. Nice. Uh, one more freaking room. This shouldn't be too bad at all. Looking for any potential advantage I could get going into this mom fight. I think we'll be okay. Still haven't found the secret room. Did I check here? I don't know if I checked here. Let's go for it. No, nothing. Alright. I think I checked on this one, right? Pretty sure I checked on this one, but I'm gonna get tr I'm gonna try it again. Where could it be? Maybe here. Let's use Bomb Buddy for this. Nothing. Damn. My only other thought would be that it would be on the right side of this, but I can't really access that very easily. Maybe I should... I should go for it. Just to see. Nothing. Alright. Whatever. Not a big deal. Let's do it. Lazarus versus Mom. Here we go. I'm gonna drop this real fast. Oh god, I didn't even see that go down that way. Whoops. <laughs> okay, Lazarus, uh... I keep saying Lazarus. Uh, what is his name? Gemini. Gemini should be pretty effective here if I can keep him uh, within range of the of the doorways. I think that's going to be pretty pretty good for us. It's going to be a bit more difficult than it sounds, but I think I should be able to win this mom fight. We're about just over halfway there. Ooh, that was bad damage. Oh, there's a lot of damage too there. Shoot. Just to kind of try to deal as much as I can in a short amount of time as possible. Come on now. Oh, damn, I didn't see that shot. Okay, well, failed on the mom fight, unfortunately, with Lazarus, but pretty solid run. We found a few more uh, new things, and I'm satisfied with it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.